What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of You Good No Links or Ranked PvP. Today we're going to be showcasing the ultimate hero deck because this combines all four different types of heroes in You Good Duel Links currently all into one deck. We got the elemental heroes with elemental hero Neos combined with the miracle contact to go into the uh, elemental hero Neos knight. We have the destiny heroes like Decider, uh, Celestial, not Vision Hero. We have uh, Destiny Hero Dreamer and all those boys to go in for the Danger or Destiny Hero Dangerous. We also have the Vision Heroes in here, mostly to search for Poly, but we also have a Vision Hero Trinity along with the stack. And then last, last but not least, we have the Mass Change to go into the Elemental Hero, not Elemental Hero, Mass Hero Enki. We got all four of the Hero Boys into one deck, and that's what we're going to be showcasing in today's episode. So I'm pretty excited for this episode and let's get on to it. So this deck is very similar to my triple hero deck. It's just that it's changed up a little bit. So if you guys watch my triple hero build, this is like pretty much the exact same build, except that I took out Elemental Hero Blaze Man. I added an extra copy of Elemental Hero or not Elemental Hero. Why do I keep saying it's just so easy to say Elemental instead of all the other ones. But we have a copy of Vision Hero Villain in here instead and all that good stuff. So we replaced Blaze Man with an extra copy of Villain because I bought another uh, Destiny Structure deck because I really like the Destiny um, Hero Structure deck is really cool. Uh, another thing too is that we added a copy of Dreamer because we have room for that because I did drop uh, De Destiny Hero Drill Dark from the previous deck build and then I also added in Celestials so that's pretty cool. So Celestials are a really good card for uh, the draw power shenanigans. Um, and that's kind of it. I think the deck build is pretty much exactly the same, which is that kind of swapped around a little bit of cards. We are adding in a mass change into the deck. I did drop Fusion Recycling Plant to add mass changes to the deck so that we can go in for mass hero Enki. Pretty much every single one of these hero monsters except for Neos are all um, dark monsters so Enki works pretty well with the deck. I think Enki's probably one of the best mass heroes in this deck to be honest so uh, or I mean out of all the mass heroes that we have currently in Duel Links so that's why we're running that and then yeah that's kind of it so let's just go through this uh, deck profile we're just going to kind of go through uh, real quick. Um, and yeah, let's just get onto it. So we're running two copies of Decider. To get Decider, you need to get it from the card trader. Running three copies of Celestial. To get three copies of Celestial, you do have to purchase the Destiny Ruler Structure deck again. But if you only bought it one time, you do get two Celestials. And Celestial is a really good card. It has some really good draw power capabilities. Running two copies of Villain. Same thing here. If you want to get a second copy of Villain, you need to buy the uh, Destiny Ruler Structure deck. Um, if not, you can uh, tech in a Elemental Hero Blaze Man. It still kind of fits with this deck a little bit. Um, um, so you could try out uh, Elemental Hero Blaze Man instead if you don't want to buy a second copy of Destiny uh, Rulers. Next up, we're running two copies of Dreamer. Same thing here. To get a second copy, you need the Destiny Hero Ruler Structure deck. Uh, yeah, again, this card's really good because your Destiny Heroes can um, not be destroyed by battle if you ban it if this uh, Dreamer is in the graveyard. So that's really cool right there. We're running two copies of Elemental Hero Neos because we want to go in for that Miracle Contact plays which is going to be really nice right there we're also running one copy of mass change because one i only got one copy of it but two um you can definitely run this and help out to summon your anki right there i think i would rather run two copies of mass change instead of two copies of miracle contact since i did drop elements over blaze man from the deck but still it could work out uh, we got two copies of Ants of Magic Arrows to stop the back row shenanigans. So to get this card, you need to, um, actually it's not attainable anymore. Sometimes, it depends on what type of SR ticket you got, but if you guys don't have any copies of Ants of Magic Arrows, be sure to go check your SR tickets that you have currently and see if you can use them or use them to purchase in, um, Ants of Magic Arrows. Sometimes it won't work out, but, um, hopefully one of them will allow you to get one of those. But still, if you have no copies of Ants Magic Arrows, you still can go for, um, Hatred Aid, which is pretty much the same thing, just has some different tags and stuff like that you can get hatred aid from the rampage of forest mini box um and then also to get mass change you need to get that from valiant souls the latest main box and then the america contact you gotta get it from the card trader um to get econ i think everybody has three copies of uh, enemy controller but if you don't you can get it from uh ranked duels by using one of your sr tickets or you can try to farm this from seven kaiba and the last one needs to get polymerization you need to uh you get them from these structure decks, or you can go to the card trader and purchase uh, polymerizations in there also. Uh, for extra deck, we're going to be running um, one copy of Mass Hero Ink Key to get uh, this uh, boy. You need to get it from the Valiant Souls uh, main box. To get Trendy, it's from the Destiny Ruler Structure deck. To get uh, Neos Knight, this is from the Blades of Spirits mini box. And to get uh, the Dangerous, honestly, you could probably want to run one Dangerous. You don't really need to run two. Um, but uh, you can get uh, Dangerous from the Destiny um, Ruler 
structure deck and to get to, you need to purchase it one more time. And that's kind of it for all the cards to uh, get from or to build this deck. Let's hop into uh, some uh, ranked PvP and show you guys how this deck can work. Um, to be honest, this deck isn't going to be a crazy powerful deck. This is just more on the fun side that you can play with some friends in, um, you know, like a dual room or whatever. But we're going to try this out in ranked PvP and see how it fares for us. Um, but nonetheless, let's get on to today's video. If you guys are excited, be sure to smash the like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Duel Links ranked PvP videos and all sorts of other Duel Links content. But let's get on to today's episode. Okay, so the first person we're going against is Edward 2. Let's see what deck this guy's playing. Yeah, so right now, at the time of recording this video, the Casey Cup is currently happening. And I don't want to do the Casey Cup with this deck. I've been playing Sylvans in the Casey Cup, being one of those players. Uh, some of you guys know that for watching my Casey Cup live stream, so people were complaining about that. It's whatever though. I enjoy playing Sylvans. It's a really powerful deck and all those shenanigans, but hey, I kind of like this hand. This hand's not bad. We can go for the Dreamer uh, plays right away. Or not Dreamer plays. We can go for the Dangerous uh, summons right away, so that's cool. Ooh, we're going against some sort of Red Eyes deck. Okay, okay. I think we can make it. I think we can make it. Red Eyes Spirit. Red Eyes Spirit. Oh. I'm glad we're going second. I like play fusion. If I'm gonna play a fusion deck, I like going second. Yikes. Got a lot of shenanigans going on over here. Ooh, decider. Okay. Okay. I think I wanna add a poly to my hand. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna play Vision. We're gonna play his effect. We're gonna banish the other we're gonna send our other villain. V Vision, villain. Ooh, we could send Decide. Ooh, we could send Celestial. Could do that. Could do that. I don't know if I want to though. We're gonna send. We're gonna send villain. We're gonna send villain because we already drew to one of our polymerizations and we're only one to two. So I don't want to draw into villain anymore. There's no need to. There's no need to. So we're gonna add a poly from our deck to the hand. There we go. Not bad. Next up, now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna be playing. We're gonna go for the fusion. We're actually gonna fuse our decider and dreamer. We're gonna do both of your boys. We could go for Trinity. We could go for the Trinity means. That's only gonna inflict 3,000 points of damage to uh, Joey. Yeah. If we had a third Destiny hero, I would have done it, but nah, nah, nah. So yeah, we're gonna go for the Dreamer. We're gonna go for uh, the Decider. We're gonna get your boys. We're gonna get our Dangerous. He's so dangerous. Next up, I'm gonna go pretty aggro, to be honest. I'm gonna just uh, show this Joey what's up. And I was gonna actually go in for the play to um, give my, well actually, we do have Dreamer. We do have Dreamer, but at the same time, I don't wanna discard this Polly. I really don't wanna discard this Polly. We need Polly right now. Polly's a cool guy. Yeah, we could've went, we could've went for some more damage to be honest, but I wanna keep this Polly in my hand. Polly seems more useful uh, to have in our hand because we can go for the Vision Hero Trinity. We can go for another uh, Decider. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna keep our other poly. So yeah, if he's gonna summon a Blaze Man, oh, he's playing Slash. I see, he's playing Slash right now. He's playing Slash Dragon. That's why he's running the Warriors. Giving them that small boost. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. I actually have a fun uh, Red Eyes uh, Slash Dragon deck that I'm trying to build. Probably should build that at some point. I kind of forgot about that until now. Probably should build that. So now, what are you gonna attack? Are you gonna attack into my dangerous? He is so dangerous. Ooh, he is attacking into dangerous. So we're gonna actually play um, our. We're gonna actually play our decider. We're gonna play decider right now. Cause I don't think we have enough destiny heroes in the grave to even combat. Cause it's like 200, right? You have 200 attacks, so we have one, two, three, four, four times. We actually could tie. We could actually tie with this guy. I don't know if I want to do that, though. Ah, uh, okay, let's uh, let's get Dreamer. Let's use Dreamer's effect. Let's use Dreamer. Okay, things are looking a little dicey, to say the least. Things are looking a little dicey right now. 
a little dicey. We need, yeah, this Slash Dragon's a problem because, ooh, he's going for Spirit. He's not letting us kill nobody. Black Odo Dragon. Not a fan right now, I'm not a fan. I believe my, um, oh, he's trying to add more guys to him, that's annoying. Still, we're not gonna discard Polly. I need. I want to go into Trinity right now. Oh wait! Oh snap! I thought I could keep my. Oh, I thought Dreamer kept Dreamer. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. All comes down to this baby. Polymerization. We got a big boy right now. We got a big boy. Let's go for it, baby. Let's go for it. Ooh, wall disruption. That's enough for him to stay alive. But we can all- I forgot we can attack multiple times with Trinity! I almost ended my turn, but we can attack multiple times with Trinity! Let's get it! I thought we are gonna lose that one. Yes! That was actually- I completely forgot about Trinity. Get out of here with your wall disruption. That Trinity at 5,200 is not enough for Joey to handle. We just took out both of his boys right there. Oh, snap, dude. Oh, snap. Dude, that deck's not terrible. I like this deck. I would change up a couple things with it, like not run uh, Dark Blade, but still, that was uh, that was an interesting duel. We, we got the W, baby. We got the W. Let's get on to uh, the, next, uh, the next duel. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay, next opponent we're going against is someone I could not pronounce because it's a different language. Running the Pokey, though. Going against an Alexis. Oh, no. Oh, no. Or might be going against Cyber Angels. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not cool. I don't like Cyber Angels. Playing the balance. Okay, we got Mass Change. I was actually going to mention, I'm kind of hoping that we can get into a... We can go for some masked hero shenanigans. Okay. We got the cider. What do I want to do in this current situation? It kind of sucks that we got Neos. To be honest, I think this deck build would actually play better if we were not running Neos whatsoever. Because we could have replaced it. Because I think what we could have done is that we could have summoned, we could have normal summoned like, um, What's it called? We could have summoned a uh, dangerous, summoned a uh, decider. We probably could have won. Now this kid could be playing Sylvan uh, shenanigans, but still, I don't know what I want to do. What does Anki do again? I think he just attacks directly if you want him to, which is not what I want to do currently. Let's see, let's see. I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for the poly plays. We're gonna go for the poly plays. Yeah, we have so many options right now. Let's go for dangerous though. Let's let's see what shenanigans this guy got. I think I want to keep mass change in my hand. Let's see what he got. What do you got? What do you got under there? Ooh. You're running uh, some skell angel right there. You're running some skell angel right there. Now I think what now do I want to inflict the damage? Do I wanna get Anki? Do I wanna get Anki on the board? What do I want to do in this situation? This is, it's pretty scary. I think we need to keep mass change. I don't think we should go aggro. I don't think we should go aggro. Now let's see if this is a destiny hero, or not destiny hero, cyber angel player. We're running those fairies, and I don't like those fairies to be honest. Fairies are a little scary. That's yeah, a two star two. Yep, yeah, we're going against cyber angels. That sucks. That's lame. That is lame. Oh, we probably should have set down mass change to be honest. Because I won- no, I think we can- I think we wouldn't be able to mass change out of there if she got a bikini on the board. I think we're going to get OTK'd. If we don't, that's awesome, but I believe we're going to get OTK'd right here. Cyber Angels are just a struggle. Like, this deck that I'm playing is just like a dual room sort of fun deck, you know what I mean? It's a fun one. Okay. Let's hope that she doesn't- Oh, she can easily get the key out. Cyber Angels are annoying, man. They just- 
They introduce like when they introduce Cyber Angels. Nah, man. I should probably play a deck at some point though. I never played it before. It seems to still be doing uh, all right. Still is able to just be annoying even with one Dakini. That's for sure. Still is able to run house with just one Dakini. So yeah. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Dakini. Okay. It's enough damage to take me out, which sucks. It's a sad, sad world. Might as well for the memes. Let's just get a chain of a three. Let's get a chain of three going on right now. Let's see. Because, I mean, even if we send Dreamer, it doesn't make it. You can take no... It's unable to be destroyed by battle. That doesn't matter because, uh, yeah. So we're going we're gonna to send uh, that guy to the grave. Womp, 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 womp. Bye bye. <laughs> Let's get OTK'd. Let's get OTK'd. Sad life, baby, sad life. Getting OTK'd by Cyber Angels every single day and night. What can I say? Those bully angels, man. Those bully angels. Play them in plat, too. Like, come on, man. Why are you. What are you doing in plat, bro? Go back to the KC Cup. I want to just relax. I want to relax right now, bro. Let's get into another duel, though. Okay, next duelist we're going against is in Nails. Please don't play some meta. Let's just have fun. Let's have a fun time and play some just casual duel links. Going first. Ooh, where are we going against? Okay. Hand's interesting. This is an interesting hand. Ooh, are you gonna restart? Nope, so I don't know what deck he's playing. So I think what I actually want to do is I don't want to send Neos to the grave. I'm going to send Neos to the grave. And we're not going to search for Polly just yet. We're going to relax. We're going to chill. Because we have Miracle Contact in hand, so if this guy like spams the board, Miracle Contact can help out because Neos Knight can just attack twice per turn, I believe, and that's about it. But still, 2,500 attack once per turn. You go bam, bam. That's not bad. And yo, your boy is just chilling. And we got Dreamer, cool. Let's see, what do I want to go for? Let's go for Miracle Contact. Let's do it. We're gonna send you. Now, what do I want to send? Hmm. We have we have a hand for a spicy fusion play, you know? Same time though, I want to go aggro. We're going aggro. We're going aggro. We got, we got, we got the econ. We got the econ on deck. This guy's playing no back row. Oh, Sylvans, Sylvans. I see you, big dog. You playing Sylvans? Okay, he has the ultimate probs. He has the ultimate probs. He has the ultimate providence. That's uh, not cool. It's not cool at all, to be honest. He's playing the Sylvan. So he did mill Rose Lover, which is uh, scary. He has six cards in hand. Yeah, six cards, I believe. He's gonna he's gonna go on. That's an ultimate providence right there. That's the ult. That's the prov. It's the ultimate providence. Well, that's all he got. It could be a Kushmiro. Easily be a Kushmiro. He is a little hesitant, though. He's hesitant on if he should go for the Rose Lover. He's going for the Rose Lover. Okay. That's a problem. Now, he's playing Ultimate Providence and Sylvan, so I'm gonna hope that I kinda... Okay, let's see what he... Let's see what he excavates. It depends on what I'm gonna do on what he's gonna excavate. You got Hermitry, you got Merchant, and you got... Dude, this guy is unlucky! He's an unlucky fella. Hermitry is going to help out, though. It's going to show him what his top three cards are going to be. But still, this guy is just an unlucky fella. He is an unlucky fella right now. He's not getting the mills that he needs. Okay, so with Ultimate Providence, I doubt... Are you going to go for the most damage? Yes, he's going for most damage. That is perfect. That is okay with me, bro. 
That is okay with me. So he has a little bit of prob, so I think we might be good. Let's uh, summon the cider. Why not? We, we need some polys, bro. Oh, are we gonna negate it? You gonna negate it, bro? I'm fine if he negates it. I'm just hoping that he doesn't, um... Yep, he's negating it. That's fine, dude. I could care less. I could care less. It just means that... I See, even though he's a Sylvan player, and he, I doubt he has a... I doubt he has one. Still. Actually, we can attack with... I just realized. Okay, let's see what he mills. If he mills only one Marshall, if we won. We're good. If he only mills one Marshall for we won. Okay, come on. Okay, cool, sweet. We won. It's good, we won. This deck is taking on Sylvan, bro. That's crazy. Oh. Still we win. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, it's fine. It's all good. For a second I was like, why why can I not chain my thing? But it's all good. Unless he's played Spear. Oh, dude, easy, bro. We took out Sylvans with this deck. Nah, knee. Nah, knee. Let me check his deck build, too. Because, like, Sylvans is a powerful deck, but he got super... He actually got super unlucky with his mills. Like, his mills were... Oh, man. Feels bad, to be honest. Feels bad. His mills or his uh, excavates were just yikes, dude. They were just yikes. Ah, this was a good deck build, too. This is a deck build that I run. The only thing that he doesn't have is Giga Plant, but like Giga Plant in the deck is like not really like Giga Plant's good, but it's not needed. So this guy got really unlucky with his mills. Feels bad. Feels bad to be honest. He has played 22 cards though, but still feels bad. Let's get on to the last and final duels of today's episode. I'm glad that we took out a meta deck, Sylvans with this um hero deck. I'm really happy about that. Cyber Angels though, they're too strong, they're too powerful. Last door, we're going against Big Tuna. What a great name. I love that name. That's a good name right there. That is a great name right there. Going against a Taya Gardner. Let's see if we're going against a raw OTK shenanigan deck. Because there's a, there's a raw disciple OTK deck out there. And it can surprise some people. Like, if you're not ready for that deck, it can catch you off guard. I think we're going against that. And of course, we don't draw out to any polys. That, okay. Okay then. <laughs> Actually, though, we're fine. We're fine. We got we got Villon. We got Villon, bro. We got Villon. We got your boy Villon on deck, ready to go. Call of the Archfiend. Call of the Archfiend. Get out of here with your Archfiend shenanigans, bro. We're winning this duel. I just realized we're winning this duel. We're gonna win. We are and gonna win this duel. So we're actually gonna send. Which one? Where's the where's the one from the hand? Okay, we're gonna add a poly, we're adding a good poly, poly, poly. Man, if we had mass change, I just realized we have not pulled off mass change once this video. I'm actually kind of sad about that. If we had mass change, we would've won. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, it's not gonna be enough. We're doing it. We're gonna go for Celeste. We're gonna go for Neos. And let's go for Dreamer. Yeah, we could have done the Cider, to be honest. Could have done the Cider. We got our big boy out today. We got our big boy out today. Bam! Bam! I wish we drew it to Mass Change, though. We have not popped off with Mass Change once. If I draw Mass Change next turn, we're doing it right away just for the video. Yeah, that's a, that's a little sad. It's a little sad I haven't done that yet. Oh. No, that's a villain. Villain's good though. Yeah, we did draw it to villain. That one's not bad. Um I still really want the anti-magic, man. I really do. And we got we got Celeste in the grave. We got Celeste in the grave, so let's do it. Let's do that. No Celestial in the grave. Okay, so this is where uh, your boy is gonna just start going off of their arch fiends. This is, this is when things are going to get a little scary, boys and girls. Strap on your seats, bros, because this thing's we're, we're about to get into things are getting intense. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Louise. Okay, how are we going to combat a second arch fiend? 
Oh, this draw is gonna be the decider in this uh, fight. Miracle contact! It's not what we need, though. It really isn't. It really isn't what we need. I think... I think... Ah, oh, no! What what do we have that can get over that? I think we just need an Econ. <laughs> to be all fair and honest, we probably just need Econ. Welp. Welp. Things are not looking too good in our front. Welp. I'm gonna do that. We're gonna go for the, uh... Contact of plays. We're gonna return. Ah, still though. We should have. We should have waited. We should have waited. We just lowered our chances of drawing into Econ. Shoot, that was my B. But oh wait, we could throw back Trinity into our grave. Oh, we might be good. We might be good, man. Oh snap, we might get Trinity back. We might be able to play Trinity. Oh snap, if we could pull off Trinity, that'd be amazing. Let's do it. We're gonna send to the graveyard. Neos. Send Neos to the grave. Next we're gonna play Celeste. Oh snap, I keep messing up. I keep messing up. No! Mascot, don't change. Oh wait, it's fine! It's fine! Because we can still go into Polly. Oh baby. Oh baby. Now, like I said, guys. For the video, we're doing it. We're doing it, bros. We're doing it. Just for the video. We're, for the video, we're gonna do it. We don't need to, but for the video. Oh, wait! We can do the direct attack! Oh, let's do it! Yo, let's do it! We didn't even need Trinity! Or, uh, Trinity bro, let's get it! Hey, okay, look at that, guys. I'm glad, I'm glad we drew it to mass change for the video. For that 1400 uh, direct chat attack cheese, man, my commentary has been all over the place. But that was a ton of fun, guys. We got three W's. We only lost against Cyber Angels. That was a ton of fun. If you guys enjoyed today's episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and you had a good time, be sure to smash the like button down below. And like I said before, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to go do so. Get notified when we got more Duel Links video. Along with that, if you guys haven't already, be sure to go join my Discord. Also, that link is in the description. So that's the first link I told you guys to check out. But still, go check out my Discord. Link is in the description. That place is awesome. You guys can go talk to me. You get to know a little bit more about me. You get notified when I do videos because I post when I post a video. I'm in there. And then also another thing cool about the Discord, I post my thumbnails early in the Discord so you get to see what content I'm coming up soon. Like, there's a lot of benefits to joining my Discord. Be sure to go do that. That's gonna do it for today's uh, Duel Links video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you later.